welcome back to my channel. My name is Barbie. I have a family of six and we live in Northern California in the Bay Area. Our grocery budget is always $250 a week, so stay tuned to see what I got. Okay, so here's an overview of what I've got at Costco. It was a very small haul and today is Thursday, so I did things a little bit different this week. I had the day off work, I'm usually off every other Thursday from work and I was in the area where Costco is, so I decided to stop by and get just a few things I needed. Um, Easter is this coming Sunday, so I don't think I'll be, I'll have time to go. So I just went in and got a few things and I stopped by Marshall's and got a, a few little things. So I will show you that as well as a little bonus here. So I spent $83 and five cents at Costco and I went and got some eggs. We were all out of eggs, which is something that never happens at home. Everybody is eating so much healthier now and we are flying through the eggs. So I, I even had to go and buy a dozen at Target the other day because we were completely out. So I went ahead and got five dozen. I always get them at um, Sam's when I go and I noticed that these are cage free. Not that it, you know, that it's something that I go for all the time, but I did notice that and they're about the same price as Sam, so went ahead and picked that up at Costco today. I picked um, the cheese pizza. This brings four. My son loves these pizzas, and they were only they were on sale, and they were only um, five ninety nine on sale. So went ahead and picked that up. I also picked up a bag of this organic rice cauliflower, and it brings four microwavable bags. And the size on those is um it's twelve um I mean twelve ounces in each bag. I usually get my rice cauliflower from Trader Joe's, but they have been out. The last two weeks I've gone, they've been, they've been out, and I even went to a different Trader Joe's today, and they were also out. So I went ahead and picked this bigger one at Costco. Picked one of these Chex Mix. They're on sale again for $3.79 a bag, and my son loves these, and the other kids also like them, but my son is usually the one that eats them the most. So I went ahead and picked that up. Um, this is something I've never picked up before. I believe these compared to the, um, the sparkling flavor, um, drinks, the ice brand. And these are the Costco brand. These were $8.99 for a 24 pack. So pretty good deal. It comes in three flavors. It has the black raspberry, the orange mango, and the kiwi strawberries. I also got this Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. Um, I wanna give this a try. I also got the Faye 0% um, fat um, Greek yogurt plain, just because it's we've been going through a lot of Greek yogurt between um, baking and making. I made some banana pancakes the other day and just making the personal pizzas with the two ingredient dough that we're just flying through it. So I figure this is more cost effective. This is only $5 and some change and it's huge. It's three pounds. So got that. And that's all I got at Costco and ended up spending $83.05. This was a high um, priced item. So it adds up quick. Then I went to um, Trader Joe's and I picked up um, just a few things. I spent $6.67. I needed to pick up some um, buttermilk, low fat, for the, um, the ranch dressing that we're almost out. So we've been eating a lot of salads this week. So pick that up. And I picked two of these healthy Canadian bacon. I believe you can have three of them for zero, I think it is. I can't remember. Or three for one point. It might be three for one. I can't remember right now on Weight Watchers. So pick two of those up because we were all out. And that's all I got at Trader Joe's. And then I stopped by Marshall's really quick because I wanted to get some skinny syrups. I placed an order online the other day because we were, um, I wanted to get some different flavors and we were out of some that I haven't been able to find at the store again. But today we, I found out we ran out of the caramel one and I don't know how long they're gonna take to come the ones I order online. So I went and I was able to find the salted caramel. I couldn't find the regular caramel, but this will be just fine. So I bought one and they're $3.99 uh, Marshalls or Ross or TJ Maxx or Home Goods, wherever you find them. Usually those are the stores where you can find them. Um, online they're $5.99. So, so I bought that one and I got another vanilla. We still have a vanilla that's pretty full, but 
since I don't know, I didn't play, I didn't order vanilla on my online order and I don't know, you know, if I'll be able to find it again, I went ahead and grabbed it. So I bought two of those. I bought some containers. These were only $5.99, I believe, for three glass containers. Where's the ticket? There we go. Yes, $5.99. And the size is, it's a two cup size. And I've been obsessed with making um, Greek yogurt with fruits and honey and home, the, a little bit of the homemade granola that I make and taking them to work for my morning snack. So I bought this. I like the vibrant green there for spring. And also I bought this mason jar and this was $5.99 as well. I wanted something to put my coffee in, my coffee pods from Trader Joe's. These coffee pods from Trader Joe's, if you can see there, um, they're not completely sealed like the regular coffee pots are, like kind of like this. These are, it's like a mesh. So they come in of a Ziploc bag in the box where they come. This first time I ever buy them. So that's why I'm, I was surprised when they, when I saw how they came. So if you sit them outside, I feel like the coffee might go stale because air is hitting it and all that. So I wanted something to store them in that it wasn't just a plain bag where they came. So I wanted something big enough where I can put a lot. So I saw this and thought this would be perfect for them. So um, I'll buy some more to fill it up, but I got that. So that's it. That's all I got at Marshall's and I spent $21.23. Here's an overview of what I got at Walmart and Sam's. Um, today is Friday night when I'm recording this. Um, like I said, I was doing things a little bit different this weekend um, because we have a busy weekend. So I went to Walmart and I did my online order this week and then I went to Sam's. So I don't have the totals of what I spent so far, so I'll just say that at the end. Um, so I'll start right here. I got one loaf of bread and we love the Nature Zone butter bread. Um, absolutely love this. We are on Weight Watchers here and these are two points for one slice or three points for two and the slices are nice and thick and it's just really good bread. I got some bell peppers for recipes. I got two green bell peppers and one red one. I got a container of fat-free sour cream. Um, this Smucker's Sunday Syrup is sweetened with Splenda sugar-free caramel. Uh, my husband loves to put this on his lattes, um, like a caramel latte with a little bit on top and it's really good. Um, I've also had this with apples and it's really good. So got that. And this thing lasts forever. So I've had the other one that we still have a little bit of. We've had it for months. Um, two of the clear American orange cream flavor, um, the flavor sparkling waters. I love these and this is my favorite flavor. So got two of those. Um, got a Hormel turkey pepperoni. We love the pepperonis for our snacks throughout the week and for um, homemade pizzas with the two ingredient dough. I was able to find this at Walmart. I had to get down to pick, get something um that my daughter was with me and she had to get down and get something so i went to see if they had the fat because they don't have it in the app and they did so i usually buy three a week but they only had two so i went ahead and picked up two and i'll just pick up the other one at another store um wow. i got some of this thick and chunky salsa for a recipe coming up this week and we also love this um in our eggs in the morning mm -hmm. Got some cans to replenish my pantry again. I got some black beans, no salt added. I got four of those. I got some dark red kidney beans, no salt added, four of those as well. And petite diced tomatoes, no salt added. And I also got four of those. I got two cans of mushroom pieces and stems. I also got um, some tomato sauce and this was a substitution. I had ordered the 15 ounce and they substituted it for the 29 ounce. So it's a lot of tomato sauce. So I'll probably just um, use whatever I need to use and freeze the rest, I'm guessing. But they gave me those big ones. Um, and I also got a can of this um, Cento all-purpose crushed tomatoes for a recipe I'll be doing next week. Um, one of these um, great value iced tea with lemon. We love this. We always keep this a picture of this in the fridge. 
Um, and I got two of these singles. I got the strawberry watermelon and I also got the crushed orange. Um, I, um, like I mentioned, uh, we started taking the, um, what is it, the Vital Proteins Collagen. And I don't drink coffee every morning, so I need something to dilute it in. And I don't want to drink it with just plain water. So I've been making some of this and I'll just dilute it in that. And it tastes good. I got this unflavored gelatin and this is for a recipe that I'll be trying. And I believe that is all the food items I got at Walmart. I got some household items. I got one, um, one of these Act Restoring and it is strengthens your tooth enamel, remineralizes soft spots, helps prevent tooth decay and freshens the breath. And this has no alcohol and it's a fluoride, fluoride rinse. So really good. So I got that. And then when I had my dental cleaning, they recommended this Crest um, Gum Detoxify. It's extra fresh and it helps clean better than just regular toothpaste. So they gave me a sample to try and I actually liked it really um, a lot. So I went ahead and bought it. It's a little bit more expensive than regular toothpaste, but I really like how it felt when I brushed my teeth with it. So we'll give that a try. And I got some gloves. I got um, a pair of these Great Value Household Gloves and some of these disposable gloves, vinyl. Um, I like to keep these around the house for like to clean the bathrooms or anything else that I need some, you know, one use gloves. So I keep those and I bought a strainer for the sink in the kitchen. So that is all I got at Walmart. And then when we went to Sam's, um, I got these Cheez-It snapped um these are really good they're a new item um they have a sign that says limited time offer so not sure how long they're gonna carry it but i bought a bigger bag last weekend to try it out and it was really good and this one brings 42 pouches and it comes in two flavors it has the cheddar sour cream and onion and the double cheese and it was only ten dollars and some change for the box so like if we're packing lunches um for the kids or even myself or my husband, you know, we can just grab one of these packets and it's three points on Weight Watchers Freestyle for a pack. So really good. And I also got a box of the pop chips and this one brings 30 packs. And when I did the math, this is more cost effective than buying the bigger bags and they're already pre-portioned. And they are three points also per bag and it brings 30. This one's like $12 and some change, but it brings 30 packs. So bought that too. And we also got this veggie straws in the Sesti Ranch flavor. Um, we opened it, of course, and had a few. They're really good. So, th and this bag will last a while. Um, I also got some rice. We were out of, we ran out of rice this week, and that's something that never happens at home. So I went ahead and picked up two this time around. So each one brings two two pounds. So I have quite enough there to last me a while. Picked up some strawberries. They weren't the best, but I'm not planning on going back to Costco this weekend. So in a little small container is not going to cut it when I go to Trader Joe's. So I went ahead and picked the best one I could find. Um, bought another five pound bag of this halos, some bananas. And I try to pick the greener bananas that I could find because I'll be picking up some more at Trader Joe's when I go there tomorrow. Um, I picked up a bag of this homestyle whole grain and flax tortilla wraps. We're loving these for um, personal pizzas and quesadillas and things like that. Then I picked up two bags of the Baby Bell light cheese. We um, are going through these like crazy. Everybody's eating them for snacks and my husband was taking two of these um, every day for lunch. So we're just flying through them. And I believe I skipped this now that I mentioned that cheese from the Walmart. I picked up this great value string cheese, light mozzarella cheese, and these are only one point per cheese. Um, and it's like seven dollars and some change for the bag, but it brings 36. So I bought this so that we have another option for cheese because these over here are ten dollars or like 9.98 or something like that, ten almost ten dollars, and it brings 26. And we're eat, going through two bags in one week, so it can get expensive when we're spending about twenty dollars on just cheese every weekend. Um, I also got some grapes, and 
Last thing I got was a bag of this Crunch Master Protein Brownie Thins. I still have some from last time I bought it, but this is another item that has a ticket that says limited time offer. So I wanna make sure I have another one in stock before they don't sell them anymore at Sam's. Um, and I checked the expiration date and they're good all the way to December. So we're, we're good. Here in another month or so, if they still have them around, I'll buy another one to put it in my stock and keep it there. I really like these and you can really have a nice size um, a portion for only one point. So, or you can have whatever the portion is for three points and they taste really good. So there's an overview again of what I got at Walmart and Sam's this week. Here's an overview of the rest of my groceries for the upcoming week. It is now Saturday, April 20th and I finished all my groceries. I'm so happy because now I have the rest of the weekend to enjoy. We have a party today and tomorrow is Easter and we have, we're going to church in the morning. My son has a soccer game, so I am done and I am so happy about that. So I'll show you what I got today. I went to Target and Trader Joe's. So I'll start with the Target thing. So there's, there's just a few things. So at Target, I got two more um, bottles of Fairlife fat-free ultra-filtered milk that we're going through about three of this a week. Um, and this week coming up, we have my stepdaughters um, for from Wednesday all the way to Sunday. It's our weekend. So went ahead and picked up another one. So that way we don't make sure we don't run out before next weekend. So I got two of those. I got one of the PB2 powder peanut butter, and this is one point for two tablespoons on Weight Watchers. Love this thing with, it's, you know, you can use it for baking, you can use it um, as peanut butter spread, or, you know, you can add it on other things to um, make dessert, so really like that. And I got a water filter replacement for our Brita pitcher that we have, so got that. Um, and also picked up this pure protein bars. Um, I picked it up because I had I had gone to the gym before going to um, Target and I had not had breakfast. So I was feeling um, pretty hungry by then and I still had to go to Trader Joe's. So picked this up and it was pretty good. I really liked it. One of my, I, I'm going to have to say it's probably one of the best tasting protein bars I've had. And they are five points per bar, which is not bad. Um, and it tasted really good. So went ahead and picked the chocolate peanut butter. Um, then I went to Trader Joe's and I picked up some asparagus. My son says he likes asparagus. So went ahead and picked some kind of vegetable that he likes since he's such a picky eater. So picked that up. Um, I picked one bag of each of the light shredded three cheese blend and the light mozzarella shredded cheese. I always wanna keep these. I wanna have at least one bag as a backup. I don't wanna run out of cheese because we love cheese and we use it every day. Um, picked up some limes, one spaghetti squash, three onions, um, and I picked up a bag of these frozen fancy berry medley. All past last week I had the yogurt for um, snacks in the morning with um, berries and a little bit of honey and the homemade granola and it was delicious. So picked up a bag. So continue with um, coming week for my snacks in the morning. Picked up two pounds of the ground turkey breast, 99% fat free. One bag of the mandarin orange chicken. And now that Lent is over, we are going back to our orange chicken every other Friday. That's usually what we have as a meal every other Friday when my stepdaughters are with us. We usually have orange chicken, fried rice, egg rolls. It's just the end of the week. I like to have something easy. Um, so we have that and this is delicious. If you haven't tried this chicken, you need to go to your Trader Joe's and pick one up and try it out if you have a Trader Joe's around you. If you don't, I am so sorry you don't have one because it, it is delicious. Um, picked up one of this um, turkey corn dogs and these are really good and I believe they are five points on freestyle and you can make these on the air fryer if you have an air fryer and they come out super good so pick one that one of those up and I picked up another box of the decaf coffee cups so that I can refill my my mason jar that I bought the other day 
one bag of our, the Organics Yellow Corn Tortilla Chips, like I usually get every week. We love these chips, best tasting tortilla chips I've had, and we pick up a bag every week. Um, I picked this up as I was leaving. I saw it and it caught my eye. I scanned it and it's three points per serving, which is either one ounce or about 37 crackers. So not bad at all. So pick that up. I think I've tried these before. I'm not sure. I might have tried the, the bigger ones, but I think it's the same savory crackers, but they're just a little bit bigger. Um, but pick that up. One bag of the rolled corn tortilla chips, chili and lime. We love this. Um, I believe I still have one bag from last week, so I just picked up one. Um, picked up one bag of the Bamba peanut snack. These are so good and they are so cheap. They're only 99 cents a bag. Um, and you can kind of play around with the points. I think the serve for the serving that the bag says, it's like four points, but you can eat less and bring the points down. Um, I picked up two bags. This is a new product at Trader Joe's. Two bags of the jerk style plantain chips. Haven't tried them yet, but we will soon and see if we like them. Um, and I picked up bananas, more bananas. Um, and last thing I picked up was some flowers. I like to keep some flowers. Um, sometimes I don't pick them up every weekend because they will last more than a week. Um, but I, once I've had, I've had them for like three weeks now, so it's time to change them. So pick that up. And last thing, like always, I forget something on my hose. I forgot to show um, this yesterday for Walmart. I picked up uh, detergent. So that is it. Done of what I spent this week, and I went over by a hundred and eight dollars and some change. Oh my goodness. So Costco, I spent $83.05. Walmart, grocery pickup was $79.82. And then I had to go in store for a couple things that were not on, that they did not have on the app. And that was $12.37. At Sam's, I spent $90.23. At Target, $25.92. Trader Joe's $67.54 for a grand total of $358.93. Um, putting me over by $108.93. Yes, that is a lot, but here's my explanation. One, we live in California. Prices are higher in California. Two, we are a family of six where pretty much everybody in my family eats like an adult, except for the 11 year old. He still doesn't eat as much as we do, but he eats a lot of snacks and, you know, and everything adds up. And four, I feel like I need to do, give an explanation, although I don't, because I know this is what's best for my family. Um, we are eating a lot healthier than we were. We're buying um, better quality things. The milk that we buy, for example, it's more expensive. It's a better um, quality milk, in my opinion. Um, when I buy chicken, I only buy chicken breast. When I buy ground turkey, it's 99% fat free. Or when I buy ground beef, it's 96% fat free. So it adds up, it's more expensive. And fruits, um, we're eating a lot more fruits than we were before, so that adds up too. So that is why I don't feel bad spending extra money on healthier choices for my kids and myself and my husband. Um, but are there things that I could have not buy to keep it down a little bit? Yes, I could have, but I've said it before. I don't like to run out. And if there are, there's items that are not going to be around for too long at the stores, I like to stock up to keep them in stock. So that's it. So once again, 358.93, 108.93 was what I was over. Um, going over the menu for the upcoming week. Um, my week's always starting on Sunday through Saturday and this is for the week of April 21st through the 27th Sunday tomorrow is Easter um, I'm not sure we don't really do a big Easter gathering our biggest Easter thing is we go to church and that's it so I think we're just gonna relax I don't know if I'm gonna be cooking something or not um, so I don't know I left a blank. I may just cook something that I have on hand or we might pick something up out or we might just relax all day and eat whatever. So that's why I left it blank. Um, Monday, I'm gonna be making chili and I'm gonna be doubling the recipe on this because my daughter is obsessed with eat eating chili. 
she would eat chili every single day if, if she could. So I'm gonna make a lot so that she can portion it out and put it in the freezer and have it ready for lunches throughout the week. So I'll be making that. On Tuesday, I'm gonna be trying a new recipe on the crock pot. It's crock pot chicken cacciatore um, with the spaghetti squash or rice for whoever wants rice. And I'll make some, um, some bread rolls or some bread sticks with the two ingredient dough. And we're gonna eat that with a salad on the side. On Wednesday, I have slow cooker salsa chicken with black beans and corn. This is delicious. Um, we eat this very often. My husband would eat this every day if he could. Um, we usually put it in a bowl with rice and cheese and a little bit of avocado on top. It's absolutely delicious and it is very low point. Um, on Thursday, I'm gonna be making adobo pork and we eat that with rice on the side super delicious too i think the adobo pork comes out to like four points per serving and we're gonna do that and then on friday fried rice with the orange chicken from trader joe's and i only bought one bag of orange chicken uh, because i have another one here at home we usually need two bags of that to feed our family of six and on saturday free for all you guys know i do not cook on saturdays so that is what our menu looks like Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next week. And happy Easter to all. Bye-bye.